Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So I want to get right into stuff today, but I'm going to have a quick look at the star map first. Um, so this is a continuation of the last episode. You can tell here Jade Falcon has done a good job capturing a lot of planets, um, you know, with me not around. Um, and Because they, they didn't have any planets the last time we looked. Uh, Iron Hole, we helped flip back 100%. It had a little bit of uh, Clan Wolf on it last time, but we lost the uh, Mad Cat, getting it back to 100%. Unfortunately, but we've got some new layouts now, so I think we're going to try them out. But first things first, we're going to uh, try and do a Jade Falcon mission here on Strana. Mech okay, I'm not even going to pronounce it. Mechti? I think it's Mechti? Someone corrected me on the pronunciation, and I can't remember what it was now, so I apologize for the butchering of the uh, planet name. Um, we're going to go to the command center. We've only got a two and a half skull contract that we can take right now. Um, it is against locals, so we're going to take it. Uh, let's negotiate this sucker out and we're going to go with, you know what, let's, well, let's go full salvage. Uh, we're going to go with our second Lance. I think they're ready to take this on two and a half skull. So we're going to do that today. See if we can get a nice battle in. Uh, so Cougar first, then we got the Adder, uh, the White and the Jenner 2C, Shogun, Sundance, Six Pack, and Hannibal the Cannibal. So let's do this. All right, here we go. Let's go rescue this person and get the heck out of here. Locate the VP and get to the evac zone. Simple enough. Ready for orders. Affirmative. So, um, our cougar now it's uh, replacing the uh, uh, Stormcrow Prime. It is actually not that much different. We do have the five medium pulse lasers in there. Uh, it's not quite as stealthy, uh, but that's fine. Um, the firepower is still there. The accuracy is relatively still there. It's fast, so um, I don't feel that bad about replacing the storm crow in here now. Uh, let's get the Jenner up. All right, let's see what we're up against. So the Jenner we have changed the ammo since we've uh, actually worked on this mech. So uh, we do have NARC, but we've also got dead fire ammo now. So when we're in close with somebody, we're definitely going to be hitting them with dead fire. So yeah, that should be good. And you're actually going first, huh? I think I want to keep you near everybody else here. Put that girl in the trees. Oh, we got direct fire on this guy. We'll found. Uh, and we're going to take that. And we're going to fire. Okay, we hit him with the narc. Alright, let's give him the good news. What do we got here? Oh god, I can't even pronounce it. Tuho? Tuha? Okay, I can, I'm going to give up. That guy. Griffin 2N. A uh, Strix. Friggin' frig. Ah, uh, we gotta pull this guy down, so we're gonna fire everything. Confirmed. Reporting critical hit. Yes, Commander. Moving to position. Strix is the next target. He's not going to take very much damage. Look at me, I'm using hotkeys. Uh, going to hammer this guy. Sure. He'll take the most damage. Oh, he's got a... The AMS! You saw the lasers! That was cool! That was really cool. I mean, not that he shot down my missiles, obviously, but <laughs> the fact that the AMS was firing, that was actually really, really cool. Okay, it's a, a dude. Two who crowd, two how, whatever. Crabby, crabby, crabby. Wow, that's a lot of fours and threes. No, you can't. So 
It's okay, we're hitting run Gru. We're moving back over here next turn. Ow. That Strix didn't move. Huh. I think I want the side shots. What if that Strix didn't move because he didn't have a shot? 21. 35. I got a feeling he's going to be like chasing us around the map board. Oh shit, here he comes. <sighs> Problem is we can't escape from that guy. It's got too much speed. Well, I don't know, maybe. I feel like that's a bad choice. Yeah. Wow, really? Failed to connect. Receiving you. On the move. Thirty nine. Thirty nine. Twenty seven. Since you're in the open, we'll do more damage on you. All right, we need to start making our way to the escape point. Because I don't think we're going to be able to pull these guys down. So it's like back here. Do more damage on this guy. Gonna take it. Firing. Got it. Okay. See what they do. Problem with the Strix is we can't close with them. Because we don't have the, the, the uh, ability to be able to shirk off his melee damage. All we gotta do is claim his leg and then we can just stay away from him. But we need good chances to hit for that. Yeah. Yikes! That hit hard. Shit. Can't take much more of that. No, no, none of us can. No idea, no. I gotta figure out how much armor's on the back of that griffin. 
Strix doing a calculation now as to whether it's gonna where it's gonna attack from. Come on. Nope, Griffin. See, now I wish I put a supercharger on that white. I was hoping to be able to get behind that guy. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? Whichever way he moves, we got to move away from him. These two guys are sitting ducks, though. There's no way they can outrun him. Oh, you went this way, did you? Shit. Wow. Oh, I'm, I'm wounded. Did I say we were ready for this mission? I'm pretty sure I said that, didn't I? Affirmative. What's his back at? He's got massive armor everywhere. At least he's in the open now. <sighs> Think we got to go dead fire with our missiles. No narc, just all dead fire. Maybe he'll shut down. That'll be a blessing. Fuck. Oh, okay, that was really bad. Good to go. This is like two bad missions in a row. We need to like pull out. That's a question. Let's see if we can pull this Strix down. Maybe not. Forty-two, huh? If I switch to dead fire. Sixteen. Can't do that. Gonna leave the narc on. We do need extra chance to hit this guy. Fire it all. Waiting for orders. You know where you can move to see that guy's back? You can. You're fresh, so let's give these guys a target. What's our chance to hit here? Just within range, too. We haven't penned yet. Damn it, man. Okay, chose a different target, which is good. We can take that. Who's going first? Who's on first? Hopefully it's not this guy. Because we almost gone. This God damn it. We just brought the cougar up, for Christ's sake. Yeah, might as well spread it around, huh? You really just did that? Moving to position.
Wow, look at the chance to hit with the dead fire. Can't do anything about this guy dead, so. Copy that. Affirmative. Almost. Target's taken a critical hit. Well, we didn't think reclaiming the clan homeworlds was gonna be an easy task, did we? We gotta hit this guy really well with the white or else we're not doing anything. What the f Hey, I lost a weapon. Think we got a bail. Think we got a bail. No shooting, just run it. This was supposed to be an easy two and a half skull. And it's not. Firing. Hopefully we can go before that guy. Griffin still has to go. Both of his machine guns are jammed. Shit, he's going before us again. Maybe he'll run. Yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Oh my god, we actually survived that hit? Getting my ass kicked. Well, you know what it was with the other mech is it, it had taken a bunch of damage. Commander? Right, Commander. Rock, Commander. Mech's destroyed. Okay. Call it a day. It's a good question. Got it. Firing a full sound. Oh, my God, you missed with all of those. I think we call this a day. Cut our losses, call it a day. Or. Or. Depending on what this guy does. Shoot the white. Shoot the white. Shoot the white. No! Alright, we're gone. Waiting for orders. Where are we? No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, shut down. Good. Good, 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 good. Ready 
for orders. We got fire maneuver. So we're gonna do that. Maybe he'll run. You know, you know, you want to run away, buddy. Either that, you want to put yourself in a position. Where, oh my God! He's got like five or eight points left in his back. They're getting the angle on me. Yeah. Standing by. Understood. Moving fast. Maybe we can knock him over. Nope. Come on, knock him down. Dude, you need to put some BO juice on. Okay. Yeah, I know. We're all under attack. We lost two mechs. You insensitive, you insensitive bastard. Crab's just got to restart. Where's this guy gonna jump? Oh, what? Guess I miscounted. All right. Reporting internal damage. Orders. Uh, we're gonna heat it up. Copy that. Inflicted some heavy damage. He bailed, yes. Can't vent fast enough. That's fine. Good to go. Roger. God, I love watching those AMSs shoot. Yes, Commander. Just for now. Affirmative. Don't think our white can beat that crab, but Ready for orders. On the move. Full speed. Not too bad. Could have been way worse. My god, we lost two mechs in this. Let's hope we don't lose them permanently. Just in case, for whatever reason, that crab's able to catch us. It's got two turns of movement now on us. Yes, Commander. He's decided not to follow. Which is a good thing. Orders. Thank goodness there's no reinforcements, man. Two turns and we're out of here, probably. Standing by. Oh, that might count. Copy that. Yep. Nice. Okay, I'm glad I hung in there for that. It's going to cost us a lot to fix this, though. Okay, let's see if we've got any losses here. We've got another Jenner, so I'm not that worried if we lose the Jenner, but the Cougar we don't really have a replacement for. We lost the Cougar. 
We lost the cougar. Oh, do we? Gonna do that and roll the dice. Let's roll the dice, guys. Yeah, we lost. Oh, we lost the Jenner too, really? Yeah, I guess we did. We lost them both. <sighs> roll the dice. Got the cougar part back. One, two, three griffin parts. One, two Jenner parts. One, two, three, four, five Strix parts. We got a Strix. Okay. Don't feel so bad now. It was an awful trade off, but uh, yeah. All right. Let's see what we lost. Oh, we got a griffin too. Oh my god. There, okay. Two cougars gone. Jenner's gone, but we replaced them with a two great mechs. Wow. Let's have a look at the mech bays real quick. So we got enough sea bills to start outfitting these guys at some point. Let's get them repairing though. Our second lance is going to be down for a while. We didn't lose any pilots, which is, thank goodness, uh, I would feel so guilty if we lost a pilot. Oh wait, did we? Did we lose a pilot? Why are there's not... No, we got all four of our pilots. They're all supposedly... Hang on a minute. Am I just missing something here? One, two, three. Oh, Shogun's out of action. Durr, right. I'm looking for the uh, little dark orange tag there. All right. Strix, looks like we lost everything in this guy. Well, not everything. Advanced combat shields integral to this mech. It's kind of nice. TSM, so I think we can pull these out and move it somewhere else. Um, yeah, man, that's actually pretty good. This guy's got like 25% in integral damage reduction. Grants entrenched with walking. Plus 25% melee damage and melee stability damage. Grants bulwark. This is crazy. Okay, it's going to take a lot of sea bills to get this guy up and running, but it's going to totally be worth it. Let's refit the Griffin. He's got the chewy, chewy face on him too. Uh, okay, well we got the engine core, which is good, and a hand, and a heat sink. Hooray for that. Let's confirm this guy. Nice. Okay, so that's really good. Bad and good at the same time. I'm disappointed that we lost two mechs and a lot of gear, but uh, pretty good overall. Okay, so back to the star map because this is what we're focusing on today. We need to jump to a new system. So this has got... Jade, oh, they're working on it again, eh? It's a battle going on today, that's for sure. Jade Falcon 100%. What are we here? 100. 100. It's a 5 sculler. Leaving these guys alone. We had this at 30 something percent. Now it's down to 8. We got, well, at least we added a bit back on it. Uh, we could hit there. This is a half skull planet. We don't want to go there. Uh, we want to go someplace where we can make a difference, guys. Make a difference. Where can we make a difference? That's five skull. Falcon 11%. Somebody's fighting there. I don't want to go... Well, this is four and a half. That gives us a chance to get down to two and a half skull missions. It's got manufacturing. 12 days. Do we hit it? There's so many different factions here, though. Fire Mandrel... Snow Raven. That's actually kind of good because anything that we'll, we can take against Wolf will, will uh, start to dislodge him from this planet. So let's do that. Let's head there. 12 days. By your command. We need to start looking for sea bills again.
At least our second lance will be back. Pilot wise, max we gotta work on. We're gonna leave those for a bit though, because we're gonna need a lot of C bills because I need to put XL engines in there. That's the other thing, it's gonna cost a lot for that. Alright. Crew's ready for the next job, eh? Well that's fine. You'll have your hands full in a few minutes, take a couple days off. Yeah, I'll accept the invitation to that, sure. Extra morale, it's always good. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. Alright, let's have a look here. Anything that'll dislodge Wolf, anything. Ah, really? Okay, nice. Jade Falcon missions here. Three Skull. This is an easy, easy one. Biological sample. Pirate research facility. It's two lances, probably. Four Skull. Pride and Vanity. Clan Snow Raven. Um, battle. Hmm. Cease and desist is a destroy base five skull. I don't know. I don't think we want to go that route. You know what? We're trying out the one uh, heavy pulse laser, so let's go this right. We'll take biological sample. Three skull. Going to go full salvage, except. And uh, pull these guys out. And storm crow prime, storm crow D. No, but oops. E and then F. Uh, Griff, Mockingbird, Blockade, oops. There we go. Well, that would have been in the right mechs if I had uh, not messed around. Alright, let's deploy these guys and get it done. Alright, let's do this. Let's not lose any mechs. We know the deal. You know what we gotta do? Let's get it done. Interested to see how these both, both these heavy lasers work out. The fact that it's a cool planet too is even better because uh, I copy. we've got hot builds. Yep. Well, the hot build is on the Stormcrow Prime. I want to see how it uh, does here. Stinger. They can't be that heavy at three skulls with two lances. Let's make sure we all try and stay within ECM range of each other. Mockingbird's the fastest. We'll send her up there. Okay, we got another blip. Centurion. Good to go. Waiting for orders. I'm there. Standing by. Um. Let's try and strike out and get some early kills here. On the move. Full speed. Fuck dude. I, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry buddy. One last time. No stinger deserves to go through that. You got balls enough to be piloting a stinger, but... You don't deserve to be hit by twice by an auto cannon twenty when you're just standing there picking your nose. All right, that's actually really, really good heat. We're in a cold world though, so that really helps. But largely, this that laser, okay, sixty-four percent. That's actually really good. Damage is only going to be thirty-eight, but still, it's only going to be worse for them when we get closer.
Raven. Raven 2. Oh. See, but the other thing is, you know, you look at the look at the, uh, the hit chance on uh, blockade, and you wonder, it's like, if we're going to have to stay at range now, fighting heavier uh, clan units, then we're going to want to make sure that we got uh, good long-range accurate weapons. Hector, vehicle, fulcrum. One more guy out there somewhere. You're just pissed I killed your buddy. I don't blame you. Another vehicle. Alright, let's roll these guys. The secondary asset is in hand and ready for retrieval. We'll be moving into their ECM range, but we will be getting side shots. Just more so what I'm concerned with. I oh, don't think he's got an ECM. Alright, let's see what this laser does. 79. Not bad. And there's the kill. These guys are wondering what happened to their buddy. It's like, where did our buddy go? Here, let me show you. Let me show you where he went. This is where he went. Oh, only one hit. Oh, yeah. Badass. This is a 70 ton, yeah. That's the old Hector. I remember uh, playing one campaign I started off solo play just by myself not recording but uh, I started off in the Valkyrie I think and I started off with a Hector it's like a 70 ton mech it had like a couple of machine guns in the leg I think um, I can't even remember what else it had like an AC-10 I think or something it was really woefully underpowered primitive armor primitive everything Rip decides he wants to commit suicide. Let's max out the damage on this guy just to get rid of him. Wow. Skirt around that CT back, huh? Alright, you do that. Ooh. Not gonna waste my uh, warlord on this, but we'll fire. This guy's probably going to run. Not sure if the 4L version is a uh, ECM version or not. Couple of large lasers. I can't remember what the Hector had that I had. I know he had machine guns in the legs. I thought that was in the in the right leg. I think it had two machine guns or something. Which would make sense if you think if you're fighting infantry, you just put the machine guns in the legs, but I don't think it really matters. Ping. Reporting light damage. Well, we needed an easy mission after that last one, that's for sure. But we still picked up two 55-ton mechs in one mission, so I can't really be too upset about that, but we lost a lot of gear. It was a heavy trade-off. We had to leave so much stuff on the ground. Yep, thanks for coming out. Griff's just gonna punish these guys and then like leave the cleanup for everybody else firing. Let's 
Going down! Come on, guys. We gotta finish this up fast. We got more missions to do. Uh, no, we need to move fast. I want to get this done, so let's move into here. Better range, anyway. Copy that, Commander. You want to turn your back? This is what happens. Oh, uh, he's got lots of armor, that one. But that hurts. Don't think it hurts as much as you think it does. That guy's almost cored. Wow. Right, because he took the AC-20 hit in the CT. Plus the lasers. This guy's almost done, too. Dagga, dagga, dagga. We need something with, like... 24 ballistic hard points so that we can just throw 24 light clan light machine guns in the thing. Throw in the uh, prototype double heatsink kit for the minus 20% <laughs> weapon heat. Bunch of heat sinks. Yes, Commander. <sighs> Do I really want to? Uh, sorry, buddy. We're just gonna bypass him. Copy that. Finish this guy up. Okay, I'm liking the pulse laser ultra that ultra twenty build. I gotta say, um, I, the clan ultra twenty man, I'm loving that build. All right, so medium pulses. Can we get behind? We can't get behind this guy. Uh, I don't want to be turned that way though. So let's turn it this way. And finish this guy up. Tango down. God, this is a fucking steamroll. Would have been a nice battle with these guys against that last uh, mission. Although I think the that Strix. Yeah. Get off the fucking comms. We're in the middle of a battle here. Get the fuck off the comms. Unless you have something important to say. Because if you think we don't need, know we need to protect that asset, you're dumber than I thought. We still got two vehicles over there. Fulcrum was over here somewhere. I don't know where he ended up. Let's go shut these guys up. Hmm. There was a place I thought we could engage the vehicle from over here. Try to engage this vehicle. Wow. Standing by. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Uh. Yep. Well, we could, uh, Warlord it on this guy. Not enough, huh? Waiting for orders. Bought it. Ah, let's hope we get pen there. 
Oh well. That's it. I'm going to put Ultra 20s in all my guys now. I hope we can salvage that. Do you imagine that? Everyone with an Ultra 20. It'll make... It would definitely make pinpointing and, and keeping mechs more, way more difficult, but... If you weren't interested in that... For missions like this, it's perfect. You just want to wreck everything and leave. Oh, with the exception is Hector. But, oh yeah, that's right. This is what this guy had. <laughs> the two large laser minuses and the two machine guns in the leg. That's right. Like, it's got 33 armor in the leg. Like, look at it. <laughs> this is a 75 ton mech. Look at this thing. It's like one of the oldest mechs, right? You just gotta blow on it and the thing explodes. That should leg him. No, not quite. Commander? Yeah, it's the bird. Oops. Let's not make that mistake. Full speed. No target. No no, this guy right here. Ten four. Sure, we might as well take all his armor off before he dies. Can you actually hit him? You can't. Shoot the vehicle though. Roger. Whatever we can kill doesn't matter. Wow. That's a fucking killer AC build, guys. Just a killer AC build. It's on a 50 ton mech. Not quite enough, eh? He's hiding. He, it must be terrified. You mu Think about it. You're in a 75 ton mech. And with the guys that were here, it's kind of intimidating in a way, but then the clans show up and you're like, you just killed every they just, they just killed everybody and we need to hide and get out of it. <laughs> Hopefully we survive this, mi this mission. He's just like panicking. Ah, let's forget it. Let's just do this. Let's end this. Let's end this. Wow. It'll be definitely, definitely, this build will definitely be different on a hot planet. He's going down. Yes, Commander. Move her down. Waiting for orders. Ordinance received. I don't want Hector parts. <laughs> I mean, if we were an inner sphere team, yeah. I'd take the Hector parts because, just because it's a Hector. But we're the clans. Don't want a Hector. Thank you. All right. Well, that should cover our repairs. I think. I think. I'm not sure. El Duce is going to start catching up too. I don't care. We don't want any of the mech parts. Let's sing stuff that we can sell. How much is this worth? 1.5 mil, that's not bad. Oh! That's the second one of these we'd have. That's... Yeah. Oh, compact heat sinks too. Oh, well, we don't want the compact ones. We want the, uh, yeah. This is what, 2.5? So we'll take that. Fire control system machine gun. 20% heat generated from machine gun fire. It almost kind of defeats the purpose of having this. 
minus one accuracy, plus one recoil, but plus two shots with machine guns. Like, you could just unload on somebody, but then it would just, like, everything would jam, you shut down for heat. <laughs> like, what's the point? Some of them would explode, probably. Uh, maybe this? I think so. After first cursory examination, I think we go this route. Confirm it. Okay, crappy parts, stuff that we can sell. Junk. Okay, 42,000. A little bit more than what we made, but that's fine. Let's have a look here if we got... Uh, got a little bit of time. Let's get our mechs fixed and let's get into another battle real quick. I may record another episode after this one. Okay, there's our mainlands back. Uh, just because I'm just having so much fun and we haven't had a chance to really have a look at uh, um, expanding Clan Jade Falcon in this entire series until now. So we are making that attempt. Wolf is trying to take some of this planet back. Jade Falcon 23% here. I think we, we jump here or we not? Hit Wolf here. Someone is. Well, we've had to distract somebody to come over here and help out. Wolf's got that completely now. Sell Jade Falcon. Sell Jade Falcon. Jade Falcon's trying to take this world back. Wolf is trying to take this planet. Man, this is awesome. <laughs> I wish this wasn't a series because then I could just play all day and like try and get into his battles here. But what do we got over here, too? Snow Raven. All right. Well, we have got a little bit of time to the end of the month. Let's see if there's another mission we can take here. Won't be quick, but we'll take it. Uh, Pride of Vanity. Straight up battle, I think, probably. Cease and desist. Let's go with the straight up battle. Uh, it's against Snow Raven, though. Um, government leader. Well, it has to be this one. Either that or we jump. But we're in the tundra, so... This is going to give us a better chance to go all out with our mechs. Alright, so let's deploy this and get it done. Command interface initiated. Okay, Force Skull Battle, guys. Time to get serious. It's against the clan, so can't be messing around. Okay, if they get reinforcements, they're coming from here. Yeah, well... I always do this map the same way. It seems to work out, so I'm going to work in this way. Cover as much ground as we can. Deny them as much ground as possible. That way we have a place to retreat to if we have to. Commander. Yeah. Understood. Moving fast. Standing by. It's nice having mechs that are roughly about the same speed here. That second lance was far more difficult with the slow white and the slow Jenner. Uh, we're going to reserve. Don't normally do this, but I think we're going to be facing heavy mechs here, and I don't want to really... I've got eyes on hostile yeah, of course you do. Timberwolf. Biggers. These guys don't see us. Okay, this isn't so bad. Clan LRM carry, that's bad. Tank destroyer. Tank destroyer. 29. Not bad. Wow, that's actually really good. Let's take this shot. We want that Ultra 20 out of here. It's not a tank destroyer, it's a friggin' mech destroyer, man. Problem is... Let's move down here and peek out. No shooting, just running. Another vehicle over here. Ah, oh, we're out of range with the Ultra. Locked on, target. 
Should have been paying more attention. Got to maintain cover here as long as possible. Standing by. Not the most optimal to hit, but we are in cover. That guy has to go fast. He gets a direct line of sight on us, we're fucked. I think he's got crappy armor. That should do it. Yep. You only get one shot, buddy. Sorry. Enemy unit now I gotta worry about these tank destroyers. There's one here and one back here. Commander. We need to move. Can't be pissing around here. Get some evasion. This guy's got to go. He's taking most of his damage on the side. We should be able to finish him up. Wow. That's a lot of armor. Mad dog. So the Timberwolves, the, the Mad Cat, I believe, is the Mad Cat uh, Orders. Big, big boy. It's this side we're hitting now. He needs to go. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. You bet. Hellbringer. Okay, let's kill these friggin' vehicles and then focus on the mechs. I'm saving the uh, Warlord because we'll be into these guys in less than four turns, so. All weapons Come on, finish him up. That should do it. Yep. One vehicle left. They so gotta have another guy over here somewhere. I think this guy's got the Ultra 20 as well. Really hope not. Oh, we've all, well, except for this guy, we've all got four chevrons of evasion. Why is he not shooting? Can you like not see us? Is that? I don't even understand why you wouldn't shoot. My only assumption is that you couldn't see us for some reason. All That's my only assumption is that he couldn't see us. But how could he not see us? Unless he was just here as to be a recon vehicle. Maybe he was just trying to fortify himself to stay as recon for these guys? Maybe? I 
can't even confirm that as a, like a viable strategy. I don't want to use the AC-20, but I'm going to, just to make sure. Okay, so we've never faced the Timber. We've, we faced Hellbringers before. I think we've got, we faced Mad Dogs. Uh, we haven't faced Timberwolf before, so I think I want to, I don't know who I want to salvage here. Two ER PPCs and a bunch of streaks. This guy's got a couple of ATM 12s, which could be bad. Heavy mech. I think we got Hellbringer pieces. If I remember correctly. I think maybe we try and sell as much as the Hellbringer as we can. We trash the Mad Dog and see what we can get from the Timberwolf. Got it. That's my thought anyway. We'll see how it goes. That's fine, man. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up. How do we want to handle this? I want to wait another turn. Whatever we do, moving into direct fire range is like going to be nasty. If one moves in, we all have to do it. I remember what happened last time. Let's not be stupid, let's not be hasty. We can get our heat back and fire. Just fire from range, that's fine. Get a couple more turns in so we can get back our... Uh, get back our warlord here. They're going to have sensors on us too, so... All right, there is somebody else back there. I knew there was a fourth mech. Night gear, okay. Commander? Now we know what we're up against. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Firing. Gonna use this side, I think. Got nice trees, nice places to hide over there. I think there's less over on this side to, that'll support that kind of play style. Don't think you need to fire. We're maneuvering right now too, so let's maneuver over first. We can trash the Mad Dog, trash the Night Gear. Yeah, see, he's got a lot of heavy firepower we should be really worried about. We can pull him down fast, pull this guy down relatively fast. I think we just have to kill these guys. I, I don't think we should be picking anything apart. We'll leave the uh, Hellbringer for last, but we're not going to pick anything apart. We're just going to murder these guys. Okay, Warlord's back, using it. 
This is one of those instances you use it every time it's up because we have to kill these guys. 99, nice. Didn't hear any explosions though. Waiting for orders. Stability. We're not going to we're not going to be using um, offensive push very much. We will be using vigilance because we're going to be sprinting like almost every turn here. Ugh. No matter where we go, we're in target range of everybody. Why does I have bad feeling about that? Let's give them a wide target to hit. Yep, this is the guy. Uh, yeah. That was a couple of leg hits at least. Yep. It's your turn to get shot up, buddy. That's Sorry. Let's get this on target, though. Oh, yeah. We drew first blood. That's a kill. That is a kill. Okay, Blockade, I need you to get down there with them. I need to have more than one target that they can shoot at. Timberwolf. And firing. Okay, have decent start. They, they can't see us? They can't see us! <gasps> Shouldn't get cocky about that, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh... That's gotta be a side shot. Firing. The more we can come in from one angle, the better off we're going to be. That's a side shot. Most likely. And firing. Sad thing is, is we may not even get to see the face of these guys until the end here. Oh, I take it back. Okay, at least he's shooting me. Warning. Armor low. Yep. So again, I'm going to repeat, when are we not at okay. low armor? Oh, buddy, you just walked into a hornet's nest. Gotcha. What do you say we outfit all the mechs like the Nova? <laughs> That's just insane. We don't have this. We don't have as much uh, AC uh, fire control, unfortunately, for other stuff. Damage minimal. So we can only really do it on one Mac right now. I don't know if I want to close on the night gear like that. He's already moved though, so let's vigilance this though, just in case. See if we can get eyes on. Nope. We can hammer him hard though. And right, let's do that. Ultra 10, two ER PPCs. This guy's got to die horribly. Is this 70 ton? I can't re even read that now. They made it so small. 75 ton. Targeting for now. Oh, he hasn't gone yet. I thought he did. All 
No, you need a side shot. Roger that. Because everybody else is shooting side. Let's finish this guy up, people. Standing by. And in come the hammer. You can actually hit him. 38%, eh? 51. Confirm. Here it comes. Murderer. Okay, we want parts from this guy, so we will dismantle him. All yeah, once they lost their, uh, their scouts up close, the vehicles, these guys just lost all the ability to target us. Oops, don't need that. Oh crap, really? Please hit the leg, please hit the legs. Both legs, there you go. Excellent. Alright guys, well... That was a pretty good mission. It's nice to have one of those after the two horrible ones we had at the beginning of this episode and at the end of the last one. So a lot of kills. I got a feeling that uh, El Duce is going to be giving Mockingbird a run for her money, so we're going to have to change her mech up a bit to get add a little bit more of a hammer. And I think we do have Hellbringer parts, just a different version. Uh, Night Gear parts, I don't know. Timberwolf would have been nice to have, but... Uh, I'm thinking we're taking one of these because we're definitely going to need the sea bills and then we take three Hellbringer parts because we do have, I, I'm pretty darn sure we do have Hellbringer parts. Yeah, let's go that route. Alright, Night Gear Prime parts. You are large, you are medium, machine guns LRM 20, ATM ammo, yeah. Clan double heat sink. Ultra 20 ammo. Oh well. Alright. 44,000. Not that bad. Let's see what the map looks like now. Though. That's what I'm interested in. Wish I could stay and play longer and contribute longer, but it's uh, difficult for me to do that. Wow, there's so many people on right now. So, we've almost flipped this planet. 100% there. Jade Falcon, Smoke Jaguar. Falcon Wolf is trying to take that planet. And this one. Well, at least they're trying to, Jade Falcon's trying to come back here. So, yeah, this is actually, <laughs> this is a nice, there's like eight people here. Eight people here. The thing is, is this is a half skull world too, right? So let's look and see if one of our uh, one of my subscribers might be on. I'll see if I can find him here anywhere. He's the eighth. Uh, I think it's the eighth Jade Falcon Guards, I believe. Don't see him here anywhere. Taking a day off, maybe. But he's one of the guys that helps flip uh, the Jade Falcon world. There he is. Fell Galaxy 8th Falcon Guards. That's, um... God, oh, you think I'd be able to remember the name? Uh, Boy, uh, Boyd of Jinx, I think his name is? Um, yeah. It's too bad we can't. There's no in-game chat or anything. He's working on uh, taking this planet. That's kind of nice. 
Um, I'm going to take a break. I don't know if I'll be able to play it. Uh, I better cancel this. Um, don't know if we'll be able to play another episode today. I might just because there's so much cool activity going on. Um, but uh, we'll see. Um, but I'm going to leave the episode here. If you'd like to drop a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, drop any comments in the comment section down below. And keep in mind, this is being recorded on uh, March 24th, which was a Sunday. So, a lot of fighting, a lot of activity going on. Um, but this episode will probably be aired Wednesday, so the 27th. So, it'll be a few days behind when it ha what it already happened. So, who knows, maybe by then uh, Jade Falcon will control most, more space, or they may not control any space at all. We'll have to find out. <laughs> all right. So uh, we'll see you that on, uh, on Wednesday this week. But uh, until then, we'll see you later.